hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to learn how to do change detection this is what you do when you want to know the changes that have occurred in an area for two different periods of time so you ensure that you're using images that are of the same area same extent and the same coordinate system now you go to raster menu then you go to thematic and in the drop down menu click on the matrix union indicate the first image for the first period now we are using the 2002 image and for the after period we're using the 2019 image now specify where you want your output file to be stored in so you just navigate to that folder and then you name it and then you click ok after that you're done you just click ok and you wait for it to process So now it's done, just click dismiss and close. Let's open another view so that you can be able to visualize what we just did. You right click and you open raster layer and navigate to where you've stored your data and open it. Now make sure it's fit to frame, you can right click and just click fit to frame or you can just click on this white box here now you can see there is an alert you just right click and you correct the alert problem now let's see what's in this output image by displaying the attribute table so this is the table for the change detection and since there are some unclassified values, let's sort it using the histogram values. You can sort it descending so that the zero values won't be displayed. Now you can see here, it's showing that in this first column here, this was the value of this particular array in 2002, and this was the value in 2019. These values you can uh, figure out their meaning from the attribute table. Like if you go to the 2002 image and you right click so first let's sort this from z to a you can be able to see that the row 3 value is for the shrubland and 6 is for forest 4 is for cropland so you can know those values so if you see like this value here you can see it changed from 3 to 1 or this next one here it's changed from three to three that means it was shrub in 202 and it remained to be shrub in 2019 so this explains to you how this has changed if it remained to be the same land cover or it changed now let's calculate area for each of these changes so what you do you go to the table menu and then you click add area so we are going to calculate it in hectares and then you just click ok now this shows the area for each particular change now let's add class name we want to say that it changed from what to what in text form so it's easy for you to interpret for example this this one here it changed from 6 to 11 that means it remained forest so you just come here and then you type forest to forest so you're going to do this for each and every of these changes and then you can also change the color so you just come here and then maybe for forest you just put it in the green and you can see here the color has changed so you're going to do this for each and every change and let me add another view here to show you an image that I had already done some changes. Now let's open the raster layer and let's navigate to where that particular image is. So this change image here. Now you can see I've done some changes here. Like the green one is where the forest remain forest. So if we open this the attribute table for this and I want to show you what I did now again let's sort this 
according to the histogram values descending so you can see here I have named them from this one that is forest to forest which is the dark green and you can see here forest to crop so for example I can change this forest to crop area maybe to this brown color and you can be able to see it in the map so you just do this for each and every one so that when you visualize it's easy for you to know which one is which and so you can also see the areas for the change yeah so that's it that's how you do your change detection now at least you have a map that says how the area changed and by what amount that is the area so that's it thank you so much guys see you next time